Hey guys, it's Alana Owlett. I am here today to talk about my top five tips for convention safety. And first of all, you're watching this, you're like, oh my God, they're not safe. They're safe, you're fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. But if it does, this is what you should do. But seriously, nothing's gonna happen to you. You're surrounded by friendly nerds who are helpful. Like, don't worry about it. But you know, worry about it because you should watch this video. Anyway, okay. Tip number one is to know the convention layout. Like, look at a map know where your hotel is in relationship to the convention and where like the McDonald's that you know you're going to eat at all weekend is. You don't have to memorize all of it, but if it's something like Dragon Con where there's a bazillion hotels and they're all connected by this elaborate system of hamster tubes, it's probably a good idea to know where the hotels are and how to get to them. That way you're not getting lost and you're at Otakon wandering through the streets of Baltimore at night, which is scary, you know, as soon as you leave the inner harbor, if you're not paying attention, now you're gonna die. So just something to keep in mind, know where you are and within the con uh, and within the convention center or the hotel or whatever it is, know where things are, know where the elevator is. That way, if you're concerned about something like your safety, you can go somewhere else and you'll be fine. Tip number two is don't go meet random internet people alone. Like everybody knows this. This is, we all learned this in the nineties, right? You can be anyone online. Again, conventions are full of nerds who are having a great time. Literally everyone is there and they're happy and they're excited and we're all out of our basements and actually outside getting some vitamin D and having a good time. Like chances are, no, it's not some crazy ax murderer that you're gonna go get your pictures taken by but it's not a bad idea to bring a buddy with you just in case it is an ax murderer. So just, you know, know where you're going. Don't just randomly go meet someone that you encountered once online and they wanna hang out with you. Go with a group that way, just in case you're being safe. All this is common sense stuff. You guys know this. Uh, tip number three goes along with that and that's travel in groups. It's not as big of an issue in the con itself usually, but if you're like going out to get dinner or something, especially if you're leaving the area that the convention is in and you're still in that very revealing Slave Leia costume, it's not a bad idea to go in groups, if nothing else, because then they're not staring at you specifically. All the normal people are staring at your whole group of friends. But if you're worried about a situation, be with a group of people. And if you're at the con and you know nobody there and you're all alone and you wish you had a group of friends and someone is being creepy at you, because it occasionally happens, if that happens, just look around. Like I said, everyone else is super excited and nice. We're all at this big thing having fun. Spot a group of people who seem friendly and not like ax murderers. Tell the creepy person, hey, I wanna go talk to my friends. Go over to that group and say, can I stand with you until this creepy person goes away? Pretend you know me. They're gonna say yes. So, you know, it's not, you don't have to worry about this stuff too much. You really don't. I feel like I'm being like, you're gonna die when you go to a convention. You're not gonna die. But there's just a few common sense things you can keep in mind and going with a group of people around is one of them. Tip number four is always have your phone and probably your ID and like a credit card with you at all times. You know, I know it's really hard when you're in these costumes to figure out where to put these. Put them in your boot, put them in your bra, build pockets into things. You know, you can get away with having a purse. If it's like a medieval type costume, you can have like a satchel. Just make something when you're making the costume that you can keep your phone and everything else in. That's just a good safety tip. And like I said, have your ID with you too because you never know you might need that. And tip number five is to let all the people who know you know where you're going when you leave a place. If you're heading out to go take photos or if you're going to the dealer room or if you're gonna go get food, if you're fine to go alone, do it, that's great. But let people know where you're going, don't just vanish. Uh, and that's, you know, that way if you don't come back, if nothing else, they'll know where to go find you because they're like, where's my food? You were supposed to get the food and now you're an hour late. So hopefully these were helpful tips. I know they're just scratching the very, very surface of this, uh, but usually when it comes to staying safe in any location, just use your brain and use common sense and you're going to be fine. If you have any other really good suggestions, please leave them in the comments, like, subscribe, everything else, and I'll talk to you later.